Hey everybody, and welcome back to the Epilogue Studio. Today we're gonna to take a look at laser engraving some MDF and some acrylic to make a couple of stamps for debossing leather. We already have some pre-cut leather patches, we just need to engrave and cut some stamps to go with them. We've prepared some graphics for our stamps. The main thing to remember here is that you need to mirror your graphic so that when you stamp into the leather, the impression that is left on the leather reads correctly. We're also going to make sure that our stamps are the same size and shape as our leather patches. And this is just gonna make it a bit easier later on when we're trying to line up our stamps. We're engraving into a piece of MDF and a piece of clear acrylic. We've masked both of these materials to help keep the surface of our stamps as clean as possible. You don't need to do this, we're going to end up cleaning our engraving anyway, but having the surface of the stamp, the part that's the actual graphic masked, is going to reduce the amount of cleaning that we're going to have to do. This is also going to protect the stamps from scratches once we're ready to clean these stamps up after the engraving process is complete. Once the engraving is complete, we're actually going to print this graphic a second time. We're going to do this because we want to achieve a bit more depth to our engraving. We want to make sure that the surface of our stamp, the actual graphic that will be debossing into the leather, is far enough away from the back of the stamp so that when we do press this into the leather, the back of the stamp won't also leave an impression. And there we go. You'll notice there's a decent amount of residue on the stamps right now, and that's because we've eliminated a lot of material over these two passes in order to get that depth. But that does mean that they're a bit dirty, so we're just gonna go clean that off. We'll give the acrylic stamp a nice scrub. And then we'll do the same for the MDF. We'll also go ahead and peel off that masking to guarantee we have a nice clean surface to the graphic. The last bit of prep is to soak our leather patches in water. We found that wetting the leather made it a lot more pliable and much more receptive to the debossing than if the leather was still dry. Now it's time to start debossing. We'll start with the MDF stamp. We used a couple of wood blocks to help protect the stamp and the leather, and also to disperse the pressure of our clamps. You could also use a vise or a hydraulic press or really anything that will let you apply a decent amount of pressure for a brief but sustained period of time. We'll let this sit for a few minutes just to make sure that we have a good impression and then we'll undo our clamps and see the results. As you can see, we ended up with a really nice, deep impression on our leather patch. Next up, let's try the acrylic. And as you can see, we also achieved a really nice impression with our acrylic stamp. Acrylic is certainly the more expensive option here, and we didn't see a huge difference in the results compared to the MDF, so you're probably okay to go with a cheaper material. But one benefit of the acrylic is that since we used a clear acrylic, we can see through the graphic. This made placing and aligning our graphic onto our leather patch a lot easier. In this case, our stamp was the same size and shape as our patch, so aligning them wasn't too much of a challenge to begin with, but it's just something to keep in mind depending on what materials and what products you might be working with. 
We're also going to use a coat of leather conditioner for our patches to help finish them off a bit and to give a little bit more contrast to the debossing. So we used MDF and acrylic for our stamps, but there are plenty of other materials out there that you could use. You could use Delrin or hard wood or even metal if you're working with a fiber laser. Of course, you could always engrave directly into the leather with your laser, but this debossing technique is just another cool way to use your laser to achieve a different look. Thanks for joining us for this project, everybody. We hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you next time.